one concern I've had with this Rig Supply Ultra Swing tire carrier is security. Um, you know, the way that this spare is mounted on, um, it comes with some nuts. They're not lock nuts, so, you know, they could easily be taken off. Um, and then if you look back here, this, this extension piece is just held on with regular bolts. Um, and thinking about how I'm going to resolve this, I mean, there's some different things you could do. You could weld these on so that they're a permanent fixture. Um, you could get some uh, lock nuts for these and that would probably do it. But I want to keep this so I can move it and so I think I've come up with a better solution. I went down to the local cow ranch store and I found uh, this uh, product by Trimax. It's a spare tire lock. Um, and it looks like it's gonna work perfect for this solution. Um, I also bought their receiver lock here. Um, and uh, so I can secure up the hitch pin here. That's another point that you gotta take care of. So I'm gonna show you how I install these now and uh, get this thing all secured. Really the only challenge with this setup is um, getting a slot for this piece to thread through. I tried all the different configurations on my tire here, uh, moved it around to all the different possible spots and I couldn't get a slot to line up so I could just thread that through. Um, so what I'm gonna do is drill a new hole. Uh, I marked this while the tire was on to make sure that I had the correct centering point. And as, as always, if you're drilling a big hole, you always start off with a smaller drill bit and you work your way up to the larger size. You can see uh, I've just threaded it through here and then it just goes through here. I'll wrap this around the bar there a couple times and it'll be a nice little solution to secure this spare tire here. Got that new hole drilled and uh, now it's gonna be a perfect fit. You can see I'm mounted up here. Got that new hole drilled there in the bottom and ready to lock this thing in. Pretty inconspicuous here. Uh, see the setup there, just threading through the bottom. Popping out here and I'll go ahead and install the cap. That sits nice and flush there. Looking solid. I'm feeling good about that. It's all locked up underneath the cap. You can't even really tell it's going back there very much. You know, it's, uh, it's a pretty inconspicuous thing, but if someone came along, that definitely would detour them from wanting to try to mess with your spare. Easy to come on and off as well, but it really takes no extra time. All right, now for the hitch pin. This one definitely is not going to keep it secure. Pull the cotter pin out and take the whole assembly off. Uh, let's get that fixed. Sometimes with these locking pins, you have limited clearance. Um, but, you know, this one is relatively small. They've got other versions that you can get that are simpler and made for more compact. But I just lifted this up and uh, it slipped right in. Plenty of clearance on this side for the key. Uh, easy access to taken on and off it's got that nice dust cover on it so yeah nice and secure here ready to go